welcome to the electronics channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do multiplication with a base 2 number system. Now, if you can do multiplication in the base 10 number system, you should have no trouble at all with the base 2 number system because there's only two digits or two bits in the base 2 number system, ones and zeros. So if you know how to multiply one by one, which of course equals one, or zero times zero, which of course equals zero, and zero times one, which of course equals zero, and one times zero, which of course equals zero, then you should have no trouble doing multiplication with the base two number system. Probably the best way to show you how to do the base two multiplication is to just do a few examples, and of course a few examples with multi-digits. If you're just doing single digits, then you've got these examples over here, and that's all you need to know. But let's look at multi-digit multiplication, because there's a few other things aside from just multiplication that you need to be able to do. Let's start with an example, simple example, with the number one, one, zero, one, times one, one. We'll do all of the binary, the base two multiplication first, and then do a double check by converting everything into base 10 form and, and making sure that the answers match up. So we've got one, one, zero, one times one, one. Just like with decimal multiplication, we go column by column and do the multiplication with each column, add the results for each column multiplication together. So let's go one times one gives me one, one times zero gives me zero, one times one gives me one, and one times one gives me one. And then we go on to the next column, which is actually one zero times all of this. So we put in the first zero there, and then we can just multiply by the one. So one times one is one, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, and one times one is one. Now we just add up these two rows, which represent the ones multiplication and the twos multiplication, or the one zero multiplication. One plus zero is one, zero plus one is one, one plus zero is one, one plus one is one zero, so we have a zero here, carry the one, and then one plus one is one zero. So to do my check to see if I've done this multiplication correctly, let's convert these base two numbers into base 10 numbers. So one, one, zero, one is equal to 13. One, one is equal to three. And if I do this multiplication, I get 39. Now looking at this number, is this equal to 39? Well, we've got one plus two plus four 8, 16, plus 32. So 32 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 also equals 39 if we convert that into base 10. So it looks like we've done this multiplication correctly. All right, example number 2. Let's go with 1, 0, 1, 0, 0 times 1, 0, 1. Now we do this column by column multiplication and then we'll add up each of the rows that we get. So one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, and one times one is one. The next column is all zero, so I'm just gonna write in a zero here. The next column will be one zero zero times all of this, so I'll put in the two zeros here, and then one times zero is zero, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, one times zero is zero, and one times one is one. Now I add up these three rows, and I get zero plus zero plus zero gives me zero. Zero plus zero plus zero gives me zero. One plus zero plus zero gives me one. Zero plus zero plus zero is zero. One plus zero plus one is zero. Carry the one, and then we have a one plus zero gives me one, and then a final one there. Now again, let's convert this these two numbers into base 10. So one zero, one zero, zero is equal to 20. One zero, one is equal to five. 20 times five is of course equal to 100. Remember this is a base 10 number, not, so it's 100 and not four. And then let's convert my answer here. I've got this is the, the ones, twos, so I've got four, eight, 16, four plus 32 plus 64 does equal 100. So this conversion into the base 10 form shows me that I've done the base two multiplication correctly. 
All right, I'm going to do a trickier example now. The, the multiplication part of this example is not really any trickier. It's just the addition part. So I'm, I'm going to end up with four numbers, and, and I'm going to have to do some strange carrying if I want to add all four of those numbers together at the same time. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's do the multiplication part first. Well, for each one of the columns, I'm just going to be multiplying one times the, the top part here, or one zero times the top part here. So let's go through and do that. So one times this top number is just going to give me six ones. And then the next column over will be one zero times all of this. So I will have the first zero followed by six ones. And then one zero zero times the, the top row. So I will have zero zero followed by six ones. And then finally, one zero 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 times the top number will give me three zeros followed by six ones. Now what I need to do to get the answer is to add all four of these numbers together. There are two ways I could go about doing this. I could add this row plus this row to give me a new number. Take that new number, add it to this row and then take that new number and add it to this row and I end up the, with the results. Or I can try adding all four of the numbers together and I'm gonna do that now to show you how I can carry over multiple columns when I end up with a value that is more than two digits long or two bits long. So I get one plus zero plus zero plus zero gives me one here. One plus one plus zero plus zero gives me a zero and I carry the one over into the next column. Now that's pretty normal. We've seen that kind of thing before. Now I get one plus one plus one plus one gives me, well it gives me one zero zero, so it gives me four or one zero zero in, in base two. So I will have a zero here, I will carry a zero over into the next column, I don't have to write it because it's just a zero, and then I'll carry a one over into the next column. So in the next column I'm adding up, I've got one plus one plus one plus one, which again gives me one zero zero. So the first, the least significant zero goes here, the next zero gets carried over into this column, and the next one gets carried over into this column. Now I have one plus one plus one plus one plus one, which gives me one zero one. So I've got a one in this column, a zero carries over to this column, and a one carries over to this column. The next column over gives me one plus one plus one plus one plus one again, which is one zero one. So I've got a one in this column, a zero carries over to this column, and a one carries over to this column. I get one plus one plus one plus one gives me one zero zero, so I've got a zero in this column. A zero carries over to this column, and a one carries over to this column. One plus one plus one gives me one one, so I've got a one here, carry a one over here. One plus one plus one gives me one one again. Now to double check to see that I've done this right, I will convert this into base 10 and then do the multiplication and check my answer. So this value become is 63 in base 10. This value is 15 in base 10. If I do that multiplication, I end up with 945. And now let's compare that to this result. Well, this is going to be 1 plus 2, 4, plus 16, plus 32, plus 128, plus 256, plus 512. So I go 512, plus 256, plus 128, plus 32, plus 16, plus 1. And you can confirm that yourself, but that also adds up to 945. So it looks like I've done that correctly. So hopefully this gives you some insight into how to do base 2 multiplication. And as we've seen, the multiplication part is actually easier than base 10 multiplication because you're just multiplying ones and zeros together. Quite easy to do. And thanks for listening. I will see you in the next video.